Yeah, about five years ago, we, we started working uh, with a few of the law enforcement agencies around Australia. And uh, through our sort of travels and, and, and talking to the people on the ground, we found that they had a need uh, for a smaller robot that uh, was basically developed in Australia for Australian conditions, rather than having robots that, uh, if they broke down, would, would be out of action for six months or so being repaired we could sort of hit the ground running and developing and develop something fairly quickly that filled a, a specific need. I guess some of the, the things that they've found they wanted was a small platform that was relatively low weight and also low cost, but they wanted capabilities that were sort of exceeding those found in some of the, the small commercial platforms of the day, uh, such as stair climbing there, but, and the ability to, to pull uh, big loads and, and put lots of different sensors on the robots uh, without sort of really expensive custom interfaces. Ozbots evolved significantly since we first started development. I think uh, we spent a, about three or four weeks initially on the first, first platform and it was a really small robot designed to be uh, thrown through windows of a house to inspect the inside and it would basically be thrown through the window, land and, and be controlled around sending back live video and it did nothing much more than, than send video and, and had a small light on the front. Some of the exciting things that we've we've done with the Ozbot platform over the over the past few years is travel around Australia and, and promote the technology that we have in Australia. Uh, we've got some some pretty cool technology in Australia and, and taking these robots around and seeing operators use them for the first time and you know getting a smile on their faces is, is quite exciting and, and personally rewarding. The, the Ozbot itself is a complex system, but we've designed it to be very flexible and very simple in its design. It's designed to be serviced in the field. It's designed to uh, be pulled apart and, and put back together quite easily. We've got circuit boards that we've developed completely in-house in Australia. We've developed all the software and all the firmware for the robot. We've got some high torque motors and we've got some, some nice track systems that we've spent quite a lot of time on. Developing communications with a mobile robot is, is one of the biggest problems and we've spent a lot of time and energy developing a, a solution that's reliable uh, and can send back video from, from quite long distances. Uh, combined with the, the firmware and the, and the electronics inside the robot, it enables us to plug in lots of different external sensors and if something comes up around the, down the track that, uh, that can go onto one of these robots, we can develop software quite quickly to plug in. We've been working uh, with the field of autonomy for a number of years now as well, and I think the Ozbot itself lends itself to a remote surveillance type task where you can send the robot off and give it a high level task such as go and find the people in this building or, or drive around in this area and, and tell me if you see anything suspicious. And that's something that the robot is, is capable of doing as it stands. We just need to invest a little bit more time in some of the software and control aspects of that. We've got some key research in, in, in the haptics, which is force feedback uh, for the, the tele-operated robot. And one of the, the key areas that we've been working in is in multi-point haptics. And I'll let someone else uh, talk a bit about that down the track, I guess.